Hey guys, it's Makaya. So as you can see, this video is gonna start off a little different, but I decided to do a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I did a video or something on Snapchat and you guys wanted to see how to achieve the look. It's very simple, so I was like, I may as well go ahead and do it and talk to you guys at the same time. So yeah, we're just gonna get started. Okay, so I just wanna let you guys know that um, I'm probably not gonna say what I'm using while I'm using it, but I will leave all of the products that I use in this video down in the description box. So check it out if you wanna know what products I'm using for this look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and moisturize my face. Um, lately I've been liking to use a face oil as a primer, then using like a, a regular primer. I have dry skin and yeah, I just like this oil. So this is going to be really weird um, like doing a video like this because I don't really talk with you guys a lot and I really don't like that. I really need to start talking with you guys because we are family and like I just want you guys to get to know me better okay. So with the little topics that I'm going to talk about today I want you guys to also let me know down in the description box how you would answer these questions or what you feel about these topics that I'm gonna speak on. So I asked you guys on Snapchat today and I, it will, I will have already like, you know, got the topics before you guys see this video, of course. But I asked you guys what topics you guys want me to talk about and I got mostly the same responses which were relationships, the YouTube community, um, being a makeup artist. And I got another one, I can't really remember what it was, but the main topics were like relationships. But I am gonna be talking about some other stuff too, besides those topics, but we'll get into that. So I've already primed my face and I'm just gonna spray some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. This is like a, primer I just like to use this before I put on any foundation and stuff like that so that's done and we're gonna get into these eyebrows okay so I don't really have a lot to say um, when it comes to the YouTube community like technically I'm a part of it because I am a youtuber but I don't really know a lot of the youtubers personally now i have done a few collabs with people here and there but as a whole i feel like i don't know i feel like the youtube community is i guess you could say overly saturated but i feel like that's okay because you know there's only one of you in this world and Nobody's gonna do your channel like you're gonna do your channel. So although there are a bunch of people on YouTube doing makeup, there are a bunch of relationship channels. Um, it's a bunch of everything. So it's not like there's only one person on YouTube doing what they're doing. Like everybody on here is doing mostly the same thing, but what makes you stand out is your personality and what you bring to your own channel and by the way you guys we hit 15k i'm so excited and um like i told you guys i will be doing a huge giveaway i think there are going to be like eight to ten winners or like six to eight winners as soon as we hit 20k so if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe if you want to be you know a part of the giveaway but um yeah i don't know i just feel like a lot of people think that YouTube is like, I don't know. I don't know what to say when it comes to this topic. YouTube is just YouTube. I really love doing it. I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube. And I know people, that's like one of the main questions that people have, have for YouTubers is how much money do you make off of YouTube? And to be honest, we don't make enough for what we do. Literally, we take a lot of time out of our days 
to create content for you guys and um, produce content that you guys want to see. Like, you know, if you're going to prom, we do prom tutorials. If you're going to festivals, we do festival tutorials. Like, if you guys want to look for Christmas, we do that. If you want to learn how to make a dress, they'll show you each step how to make a dress. Like, YouTube is the new teacher like basically that's all we are like we're teachers and we just allow you guys to see you know our everyday life if you're a vlogger as well but basically all youtubers are our teachers like y'all don't know how much i use youtube when i have a problem with like my computer or my camera or something i get on youtube because i know there's gonna be somebody on here that's gonna help me so as a whole i i think youtube is a great thing if you want to be a YouTuber, be a YouTuber. Like, there's no, there's no one on YouTube that's you. You are you. There's only one of you. So don't be, you know. Don't not start a YouTube channel because you feel like everybody's already doing it. If you know what I mean. So that's really all I feel about that. Um. But the next topic I want to talk about is relationships. And this is a really, this is a really big topic. And when they ask me to talk about relationships, I don't really know what exactly it is that they want to talk, want me to talk about when it comes to relationships. But I will speak on what I think that as you know my age what my generation is missing when it comes to relationships so when it comes to relationships i kind of want to talk about like friendships and being in a relationship with the opposite sex or the same sex or whatever like i don't really know about the same sex because i am a straight female but um i'm gonna talk about friendships first so I'm going to start off by letting you guys know that I am a cancer. And as a cancer woman, I am very loyal at a fault. So at times, it's very hard for me to have close female friends for a while. Like it's hard for me to be able to stay friends with somebody for like years and years and years. Like when I was in high school... <clears throat> I used to admire seeing, you know, women or females who had friends that they've had for years. Like, I feel like that's beautiful, you know, having a really close friend that's the same sex as you. I, I think that's great. But for some reason, I could not keep a close friend in it. I don't feel like it was ever because of me. Because when it comes to me, I'm a very, very loyal person. Like... If you need me, if you need something, I'm always there. And I felt like I had a lot of problems in high school with jealousy. I don't know what it was, but jealousy was like a big issue when I was in high school. Like, And <clears throat> me being a cancer, if I feel like somebody rubbed me the wrong way, it's so easy for me to just be like, oh, we not friends. Like, there's there's no way you think you can be friends with somebody and you're treating them like that or doing them like that. Like, I, I just I just was that tired. Like, I couldn't. Like, if you did something to me where I felt like there was no coming back from it, I would just cut you off. But I feel like that's bad because I'm a Christian and I feel like we're supposed to be very forgiving. Um like god is but i don't know i just feel like some stuff you just can't recover from but i'm not gonna say i don't have any friends because i do have a few like a bit like few i have a few friends but i don't have any like best like i don't have a best friend like somebody that i talk to all the time um Somebody that I can like count on to be there for me whenever I need them. 
wherever I need them. Like I don't have that. And I kind of feel like that role is filled by my mom. Like my mom is my best friend. I know you guys are gonna hear that. That's the garage going up. But whatever, we're gonna we're gonna push through. So like I was saying, my best friend is my mom. So me and my mom talk about everything. Like I, I have a great, great relationship with my mom and I feel like like that's that's very important um, as a young female to have a good relationship with your mom. And if you don't have a good relationship with your mom, um, I suggest you really try to because literally if that if it wasn't for my mom, I don't know how I I would be getting through anything that I deal with. Like she's the person that I talk to about everything, and I don't I I think that. That kind of harms me and it's good for me in some ways because I feel like if I didn't have a close relationship with my mom, I probably would have more female friends that I would talk to. But because I have my mom and she is like my female friend, I feel like I kind of don't need other girls to talk to, even though I should have friends of my own. And I do have a few, but I don't have many, okay? I don't have many. Like I was saying, um, I have a really, close friendship or relationship with my mom. So it kind of like causes me not to even, not not to say I don't care if I have any female friends, but it's, that's not as important to me as my relationship with my mom. So that's that. That's my story when it comes to friends and whatever. But on to relationships so personally I feel like relationships are not as hard as people make them out to be at least not you know relationships where you're not married I'm not gonna say relationships are easy but they're not as hard as people try to make them out to be so I feel like in a relationship all a female needs to be honest is security all a female needs to know is that you're not out cheating on her, that she can trust you, that you're gonna be there for her when she needs you. And that's pretty much it. Like, I don't think guys understand that, that it's that easy to have a successful relationship with the female. Literally all females need is security. <laughs> like, that's, that's it. Like, even when you're married, all a woman needs to know is that you're not cheating on her. That she's going to have a place to lay her head, you know? Like, relationships are, are not as hard as they're made out to be. Which is why I find it so weird that, you know, people can't stay in relationships. My longest relationship um, is five years. And I feel like one of the reasons why is because of what I just told you guys. Plus, I feel like a lot of people nowadays are putting their relationships out in the open because that's what they see on the internet. Everybody wants to be all about relationships goals, relationship goals this, relationship goals that. Um, you wanna be like what you see on the internet but you don't know what's going on behind closed doors with these people relationships like right now on youtube so many couples channels have you know broken up but you would have never thought i'm not gonna say you would have never thought that they were you know gonna break up but it's like they betray this happy life or whatever on social media but they probably live in, in a house together and they don't even sleep in the same bed or they not even on the same page so i just feel like a lot of people should just let their relationship be their relationship and let other people let relationships be theirs um i feel like that's like the most important part in being in a relationship is keeping your relationship private because as soon as you make your relationship public or you speak on your relationship on social media it gives people the opportunity to speak on your relationship when you haven't asked them to. 
So that's just how I feel about that. Um, a lot of people ask me questions all the time on Snapchat, how I feel about cheating. So like I said, I'm a cancer and loyalty is really big in my eyes. Like if, if I can't trust you, if you're not loyal to me, we are nothing. Like what, what can we be? Like we can't be anything. If I can't trust you, if you're not loyal, if you're cheating on me, um, like I told you guys, I am a Christian and you're supposed to forgive, but we're not married. I'm not entitled to try to make it work. I would love for it to work, but I don't have to make it work. We're not married. Now, once we're married, if you cheat on me, that's a whole nother situation. Um, if we have kids, that's a whole nother situation. But if we're not married and we don't have kids, what am I staying for? I feel like I'm not going to say once a cheater, always a cheater, but I feel like all men are sneaky. Let's put it that way. I feel like all men are sneaky. <laughs> like they have their sneaky ways. Not to say that women don't cheat either because women cheat like worse than men. Like women get away with it. You know what I mean? But I, I personally, I've never cheated. I've never cheated. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really all I can say about that is, you know, men are sneaky. Um, if you, if you feel like your dude is cheating on you, he probably is because women know women have an intuition. We know when something ain't right. We just know like bottom line, we know when something ain't right. We know if somebody acting funny, um, we just know. So that's just that. I don't know. This is really weird talking to you guys. Like I'm literally having a flat out conversation with you guys. Like y'all are my, y'all my friends. Like y'all are my female friends. Like I told you guys, I don't really have any female friends, but y'all are like my friends, period. Male, female, y'all my friends. And I just feel like I can just talk to you guys that way. Like, tell you guys anything, how I feel about situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. I like to do this to make sure that my foundation has, you know, an even finish, if you know what I mean. Um, like, as an African-American woman, I have, you know, discoloration. A lot of us do, and I have it mostly around my mouth. But I did want to discuss this with you guys because a lot of people leave me these comments up under my videos, and I'm not gonna say it pisses me off, but it's kind of annoying. I kind of feel like it's common sense, but maybe it's not. But as you can see right now, right, I have no foundation on, right? You see the color of my face, and then you see my neck, right? You see the color of my skin. You see that my skin is the same color as my face or close. I, honestly, my skin is lighter than my face. But a lot of people are like, why don't you match her foundation to your neck? Why would I have this color foundation on my face with my body this color that doesn't even make sense like what, what do you want me to walk around looking like i'm doing blackface like i i i will never understand <laughs> I, I don't get it um i don't i don't want to be rude or anything but it's just like i feel like it's common sense but you know sometimes common sense isn't so common but yes to anyone who has any questions this is a birthmark on my neck. I thought people kind of understood that, but I just decided that I would go ahead and let you guys know. So hopefully I won't have any more comments. People asking me, um, maybe, and then like, you know how you can tell somebody's being rude about it? Like how they comment, like they'll be like, um, the look is pretty, but Maybe you should use a foundation that's your complexion. I don't like what's my complexion. 
Please tell me. Like, and then like, people love to like leave rude comments. And I don't even know what you look like because you have no Abby. Um, or you have no picture, like you have no profile picture. So when I click on your page, I'm not clicking on your page to be rude, but I'm, I'm clicking on your page to see why is this person judging me? Like, why, why are you coming on my page to leave negative comments? And, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know you guys, but I just thought that that was kind of a given. I thought people kind of knew that it was a birthmark. So I even started wearing chokers a lot on my videos, just so I wouldn't have to get those comments. Because like, it kind of like, I'm not gonna say it bothers me, because it doesn't bother me. Like I'm, I'm pretty confident in who I am, and you know, what I look like. But it's like, <laughs> it kind of gets annoying when you see that comment multiple times. Like, and if I, if you do comment it and I leave, you know, a comment back saying, um, thank you so much for your comment, but it's a birthmark. If you read the comments before you comment, you'll see my response. So why would you, why would you try to comment up under my comment saying, oh, I was gonna say the same thing. Like what, <laughs> like what? I did want to tell you guys, um, thank you so much for all of your love and support. Like, I see, I see um, the ones who support me. Um, watch all my videos and comment. Like, I see you guys, the ones who add me on Snapchat and Instagram. Like, it just, it really means a lot to me. Um, I am still a small YouTuber, but you know, hopefully we can grow and, you know, become this wonderful, huge family. And I, I, like, I just cannot wait until the day where I can do a meetup and, like, meet you guys. Like, that's going to be so lit. Which is why, um, from the beginning of my channel, I was doing giveaways for you guys, like... I never waited, like waited until I hit like, you know, a hundred thousand subscribers to start doing giveaways for you guys because you guys are awesome and I appreciate you guys. So um, I'm really excited about this giveaway. I know for a fact that I want to do some like hair giveaways, like I want to give away some hair some makeup, some skincare, some gift cards, just some stuff that I know you guys will want and that you guys probably don't want to spend your own money on, so I will spend my money on it. But yeah, hopefully you guys, like my goal is to be at 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Like that's like my goal. If I can get to there, like by the end of the year or even by like, you know, the beginning of next year, I will be so happy. If I can get to 50,000 by my birthday, my birthday's in July, you guys, like I will be so turned, like I will be so happy, like, but you know, it comes with time. I actually, my channel has actually grown so much like so quickly like I, I'm just like so shocked every day when I look at my subscriber count to see how many people are a part of you know the family and it just means a lot like it really does you guys probably will never understand I know you guys get tired of hearing youtubers saying thank you so much like I'm a small YouTuber, but like, I'm thankful for you guys. You know what I mean? Like, even if there were 10 of you guys, even if there were like a thousand of you guys, you know, 10,000, 15,000, 100,000, like whatever, I'm thankful for you guys. And I just want you guys to know that. And that's why I try to do my giveaways. Like, I'm always gonna do that. I'm always gonna have giveaways because 
I'm never gonna forget where I came from in this YouTube industry, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, so I'm really excited about that giveaway. It's gonna be so epic, like, so fun. And of course, as my channel grows, my, my um, giveaways are gonna get better and better, better like prizes and like, I know for a fact that I, like one of my giveaways I wanna do as I get bigger, like, you know, up there. Of course I can't do it right now, but I want to like fly some of my subscribers out to like hang out with me. Like, let's go like, you know, you know, on a girl ship or something like to Miami or even out of the country. Like that's my goal to be able to fly some of my subscribers out and have like a girls weekend where we just like, you know, go out and have dinner and stuff and you know, just have a good time. That's, that's all I want to do is have a good time with you guys. So I couldn't talk during that part because you know once you once you put that powder down, set them creases, it's over with. Um, so I want to start, you know, being more active with you guys. So in my videos, I kind of want to start doing where it's like question of the day, and you guys, you know, answer the question down in the description box. So lately, I've been really into um, some TV shows, and before I used to like. I used to watch TV a long time when I was a child, but then once I started YouTube and stuff, I kind of only watch YouTube. I did not watch you know, other shows and stuff, but now I'm starting to get back into like TV shows. And of course, today is April 17th, I think, and Basketball Wives is coming back on y'all. And Evelyn Lozada is back on there, and I'm just like too hyped, okay, because... Although she, you know, used to like start drama and stuff, I kind of liked her. And I still do. Like I watched her show when it was on OWN. Like when she had the show on Oprah's Network, I watched it. But yeah, she's back on Basketball Wives and I can't wait for it to come on tonight. I'm um, like, just waiting. I think it comes on at like 8, 8.30 or something like that. Probably after Love & Hip Hop. Um, Love and Hip Hop is cool. It's not one of my favorite shows. Just because it just seems very scripted to me. Um, but like my favorite show is being not being Mary Jane. Jane the Virgin. That's like my show. Okay. That's my show. And I don't know why, but for some reason this light is making me look extra pale. Like extra white and powdery and but it, I, I I promise it does not look that color in person. I'm probably gonna have to adjust the lights or something. So you guys can see what it really looks like but this is looking real real ashy real white but um i'm so excited so i want you guys to let me know down in the description box the description box let me know down in the comment section what show what shows you like like what shows are you watching on netflix and stuff like let me know because i need some new stuff to watch like i know a lot of people were watching um what's it called it's like prison break or something like that something break i heard people are watching that like i hear people talking about that all the time on twitter and i know ti tiny is coming back on can't wait to see that it's so sad though that they're coming back to another season but they're like going through a divorce or whatever is going on i really hope that they work it out because they have too many kids honey not saying that if you got a whole bunch of kids, you should just stay with that person, but y'all can try to work it out. Y'all been married for a while now. Y'all can y'all can try to do something. 
something. Y'all, I am looking real pale. Like, it does not look like this in person, though. This is crazy. I'm smacking myself in the face with the brush. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave comments down below if you have any. Also, thumbs up this video and let me know if you guys enjoyed this chit chat video. And I will do more um, very often, or more often. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this look as well. I think it's very cute and simple. If you want this to be your everyday makeup look or whatever, it was very quick. It just took longer because I was talking, but like normally it would probably take like 25 minutes but yeah um also don't forget about the giveaway that i'll be doing as soon as we hit 20k but yeah thank you guys so much for 15k and yeah maybe grow and prosper but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time bye you guys